friends, it's good to see you. Welcome back. Hello to you new people too. I'm Courtney, and today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me as I'm getting ready to go to Electric Daisy Carnival with Mickey and Ray. I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion and Sin. This is like a shimmery, like nude champagne kind of color. And I think it works pretty well on my eyes, like with my skin tone and everything. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Cosette Essential Powder in C1, which is just like a skin tone shade powder, and lightly run over the primer just to make sure it's set. This means that if there's anywhere that was sticky, it's not sticky now, so color that gets applied will be applied evenly. I am taking a super fluffy brush and using the black shade that is in the Black Moon Cosmetics um, Orb of Light Full Moon Palette, this color right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Delium Tools 787 brush because I want like a sheer smoky wash of black. And I'm applying the color to my lid and my crease because I really want this to kind of be an intense smoky eye. I'm doing left to right in a windshield wiper motion and then I'm also doing circles. Just trying to get this to blend out, and I think it blends out really nice. It's a really, really nice eyeshadow formula. Yeah, I think that blended out just beautifully. I'm switching to a Sigma E25 because I'm gonna take that same black shade, darken the lid up a little bit. And then I'm also gonna take this along my lower lid. And I put the color down in the center first and then start drawing the color out this way and this way, like in and out, because I wanna connect it to the crease. And I'm taking this Mex Beauty brush I have and taking the taupe shade from the Black Moon Cosmetics palette and just Kind of using it as sort of like a transitional shade where I think it needs it. I'm putting on ColourPop's Jet Set Black Brow Pencil, and I have to tell you, I'm really, really pissed that ColourPop discontinued Jet Set Black because. Jet Set Black is my perfect black brow pencil. I've tried a lot of different brow pencils. Most of them lean way too warm and orangey brown on me. I really need a black shade that's like black or gray with no warm tones. Probably time for me to get my brows tinted and shaped again. It's been a while. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows and Perfect Brows, which is like her darkest shade. It's like a smoky brown black. And I have found that it's actually not warm tone. It seems to be more neutral. So it seems to be workable for me. Going back to this palette, we're gonna use this shade and then we're gonna use this shade right here. I'm gonna use the creamy shade to clean up under my eyebrows. And I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush. It is definitely my favorite two-sided brush because I don't like most two-sided brushes, but I love this brush. So next I'm gonna pull out the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette and take that shade Love Bite because I am in love with this color. And I'm gonna do a soft wash on top of the black. I'm really just layering this color on top of the lid and going into the crease. And I'm using the Sigma E25 that I used to apply the black shade to apply the Love Bites color to the lower lid. Yeah, by layering the black and the burgundy shade, I was able to create like the perfect black. 
blackened burgundy wine color that I wanted for this look. And I'm gonna take the shade Cosmos, which is Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. Now, I have really hooded eyes, so if I don't hold my eyes very carefully while this, while this dries, it's gonna transfer. Actually, I lied, I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit higher. I'm gonna put on Sigma's Liquid Pen Eyeliner in black, just along the upper lash line. Literally all I'm doing is drawing a black line. If you have trouble lining your upper lash line with liquid liner, draw little dashes and then connect them. I'm using my Marc Jacobs blacker pencil along my lower waterline. All right, so I'm going to try curling my lashes even though I still have a couple lash extensions left and then applying my mascara. I'm putting on my Smashbox Superfan Mascara, which has fast become my favorite mascara. And once all of the lash extensions are gone, it'll be easier to see real results. So this is Black Moon Cosmetics Cat Shark Highlighter and that's what I'm gonna to use to highlight my eyes. using the Kat Von D brush to apply it and then blend it out. Okay, so now that my eyes are on and I'm pretty happy with it, all I have left to do is highlight at the inner corner. I'm gonna do the rest of my face. I'm going to clean up the fallout on my face first. And I'm using IT Cosmetics Miracle Water 3-in-1 Anti-Aging Tonic. I do have on my Kate Somerville Daily Defender SPF 50. SPF, because I always wear SPF. And then I use the Pixie Skin Treats in H2O, which is like a pure hydration gel to hydrate around my face. All right, I am prepping my skin with the Janessa Myricks Prism FX Lotion. I love this stuff. It is a hydrating lotion with a prismatic effect. It is great on dry, sensitive skin like mine. It gives you like this iridescent pink violet glow that's subtle and brightening. It really reminds me of a cruelty-free, vegan version of MAC Strobe Cream. Now I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover in N1 under my eyes. I just mixed three different things together. The Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation in the shade 0.1, which is a very fair neutral, with the Eden Minerals Tinted Moisturizing Day Cream in the shade Extra Light. Extra Light is probably around um, Eden Minerals Saga level. I wear Eden Minerals Yorin, and so it's a little dark for me. It's very noticeably dark, um, depending on the lighting. So I mixed some of that in with this. I figured this would help lighten it up just a little bit. And then I mixed in some more of the Danessa Myricks uh, Vision Cover Cream. And I'm basically gonna put this on top of what I have on to give me more of like a dewy finish. So now that I have my foundation on, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the Cosette powder in C1. I'm using the Nude Sticks Medium Contour Pencil. Sucking in my cheeks, I'm gonna basically like draw a line to help contour. I am using Urban Decay's contouring brush thing to blend this out. 
using LA Girls Just Because as my contouring shade. I'm actually going to use Kevin Aquan's The Neo Bronzer in Capri Pink, which is this cool pink color. I'm just going to kind of run my brush over all of the colors on this to kind of make one single blend of a light color. And then I'm applying it with this Real Techniques brush that I love. I'm switching to the larger version of that brush just to blend. I feel like the blush doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to find another color to layer with it. I'm going to take Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush, which has been my like, hey, this looks awesome, let's use it all the time blush lately. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of Black Moon Cosmetics Shroom, which is, it's like a highlighter, but I use it as like a highlighting blush. I'm now going to take Black Moon Cosmetics Cat Shark and I'm highlighting I feel like my cheeks look super awesome. I do need to take my big poofy brush and softly blend. Okay, to do my lips, I'm going to start with Urban Decay's Black Mel Pencil. This is Firene Dark Angel. Okay, now that I have Firene's Dark Angel on, I'm going to put on Too Faced um, Metal Transformer, just to basically amp up the blue. Okay, so now that I have all of my makeup on, I'm gonna go ahead and set it, and I'm gonna try the Ofra Makeup Fixer, like, it's, it's a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. Normally I use Urban Decay's Old Nighter or Smashbox, but I wanted to give this a try since Ofra sent this to me. It smells very masculine. And also the mister on it is not as fine as like the Urban Decay mister for the All Nighter spray. So now I'm gonna do my hair. And I think what I'm gonna do for it is kind of what I did last time. Um, I went to a concert with Mickey and I'm gonna pull the top part back. So I'm clipping this first section of hair, like this top, like middle third section of hair out of the way. I'm going to take a section of hair on each side of my face. Now this top section here, what I did last time was tease the fuck out of it and then kind of French braid it. I'm not sure. I definitely feel like I need to do the teasing thing with it again, comb slash brush thing, so that I can start working on teasing sections of the hair. Now I'm just gonna put a ponytail over in this because that'll have a little bit of extra volume like I need. And hold this out of the way. And then I can figure out how I'm gonna pull the rest of my hair back. <sighs> okay, so I really don't like how these braided sections look. So what I'm gonna do is unbraid them and pull them underneath this section, my top section of hair, so that the sides look smooth on each side. Okay, so literally all I'm gonna do is take these guys and tie them together back here underneath this. And because this is such a small section of hair, I'm gonna use the elastic, uh, the plastic ties. I'm 
still really unhappy with the top of my hair. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try teasing it again. I think I'm just not doing small enough sections to get it exactly the way I like. So I went and grabbed my Paul Mitchell hairspray so that I can basically spray the top of my head. So it doesn't move. So here's what it looks like from the back. It's mostly just kind of puff, puff, uh, puffed up a little bit. It's not as cool as last time whenever I did like the French braid and everything, but I think it'll work for tonight for what we're doing. Here's the inner corner highlight. And it's Cat Shark by Black Moon Cosmetics. All right, so here's the finished eye look up close. I used Black Moon Cosmetics for the eyes. The lip look up close. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me as I get ready to go to the Electric Daisy Carnival in Orlando with Mickey and Ray. Please be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys and see you in my next video.